welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. My husband Murphy and I travel full time in our 1969 Volkswagen bus. So today's video is the next installment in the series, Everyday Van Life. So in this series, I just give you a behind the scenes look of the reality of van life and what it's like to complete everyday tasks that we need to complete. So if you didn't catch the first installment, I'll link it below, it is how I shower. So washing dishes is an easy everyday task when you live in a home with running water. And you might even be thinking like, what is this video even gonna be? Don't you just like wash the dishes, like put water on them and soap and like, wash them. Yes, but it's also one of the most time consuming and my least favorite tasks to do in the bus. In some van setups, dishes might be really straightforward, right? You put them in the sink, you turn on the water and you wash them. But in our VW bus, we have a manual pump sink with unheated water, which is not ideal for doing dishes. So really the way that we use our sink is kind of just a holding vestibule for our dirty dishes until we're ready to do them. So we try and do dishes once a day because it is such a process. So we'll just let the dishes accumulate over the day and then clean them before we go to bed at night. Most days, not always. Sometimes I sit for a couple days. So what do we need to do dishes? Two dish buckets, biodegradable soap, one sponge, one strainer, one pot, one propane stove, don't forget the lighter, one propane canister, two dish towels, and two magnetic clips. So I'll start by setting up our propane stove. Once that's set up, I'll fill the biggest pot we have with water. So I'll light the stove and start to heat up that water. And while that's heating up, I'll fill up the rinse bucket with just cold water. In theory, I could probably heat this water up, but this process already kind of takes a long time and I don't want to wait for two pots of water to heat up, so I'll just rinse the dishes with cold water. And then as the water is heating up, I'll put all the dirty dishes in the first bucket and I'll just leave aside any dishes that are super gunky or dirty, just because when I pour the water in, I don't want all the gunk to get all over all the other more clean dishes. So once the water is hot enough, I'll pour it on the dishes, move the stove out of the way so I then have room to put one of the dish towels down to put the wet dishes on, and then start to wash the dishes. This part's pretty straightforward, you know, soap, sponge, wash the dish, and then I just dip it in the rinse bucket to get any soap off and put it on the towel to start to dry. So I'll save the dirtiest dishes for last. Today I just had this gross gunky jar that had tahini dressing in it, which by the way, I tried to make tahini dressing and it wasn't good. Does anybody have a good recipe for tahini dressing? This was gross, but I ate it anyways. Then after all the dishes are clean, I'll start to dry them. And this is where you want the second dish towel to actually hand dry all of the dishes. The thing about living in a van is you kind of got to deal with everything immediately. We don't really have the space to like keep dishes out drying. They kind of have to get dried and be put away. So the last step in washing dishes for us is disposal of the gray water since we don't have a gray water tank on board. The first piece of this is you want to make sure that you're using a biodegradable soap. We use Dr. Bronner's for pretty much everything, including washing our dishes. And the second piece is you want to make sure you strain the gray water before you dispose of it to catch any bits of food. So in this case, I want to strain both the washing water and the rinsing water just in case bits of food got in either. So what I typically do is pour the washing water through the strainer into the rinse water, and then I'll pour all that water again back into the washing bucket just to make sure that both buckets get strained. So I'll take the bits of food from the strainer and just throw them in the garbage. And then when I dispose of the gray water, I just make sure that I spread it over the largest area that I can. And then once you're done, this is where the little magnetic clips come in. The dish towels you're probably using are probably pretty soaked at this point, so it's nice to have a place to hang them up. So we use little magnetic clips, clip it to some place in the bus. There's a lot of metal inside of VW bus so we can clip it in a lot of different places and just hang the towels up to dry. And that's how we do dishes. So it's honestly one of the things that kind of drives me nuts about living in a van is that you can't just like flip on the faucet and wash a dish. And I know in some van setups there's electric faucets and it's much, much easier, but Volkswagen buses typically have pump sinks and it's just not 
easy to do dishes with a pump sink. If I'm being honest, trying to cut down the amount of dishes is like something we're constantly trying to do. We'll use a fork in the morning and then throw it in the sink and then use the same fork all day long for all things that we eat, just so we don't have to wash more than one fork because it's so annoying. I don't know, maybe you don't find it annoying at all. It's just like one of the things that I hate dealing with in the bus. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I put out new videos every Tuesday, so please make sure to subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. You don't fit in here with my hair. I'm gonna push it down. I'm in our 19... <coughs> Did I swallow a bug? No, my eyes are deering. I guess we should start over. Fill and start. That was Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Take one of your towels. I should say that first. Why? 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 This is crazy. So the last piece for us is the last. Yes, I know you have a low battery. Talking to yourself, like into a camera, is like such a weird thing to do.